the most planted oak around Kansas is probably the one we have the most trouble with, and that's pin oak. This one uh, ends up having often yellow leaves with green veins due to lack of iron coming up in the tree in alkaline soils. But statewide, we have so many other options we can plant and not have to go about uh, treating it with iron, treating it with sulfur and stuff. There's many good options. Looking here, swamp white oak. This will do well pretty much statewide. It has the name swamp white. It'll tolerate wet conditions, but it'll also do very well in drier sites also. The back side of the leaf has, is a little whitish, so swamp white oak. Sawtooth oak does very well for us. Fast growing tree, it just turns brown in the fall and holds the leaves, but has a really interesting sawtooth edge on the leaf. I really like Schumard oak. It looks kind of like a pin oak, kind of like uh, red oak, but much easier to transplant, very high success rate. We can plant this pretty much statewide. It, um, tolerates alkaline soil very well and also dry sites. This one's kind of fun. Doesn't look like an oak at all. Looks a little more like a magnolia or maybe a peach, but it's shingle oak, once used to make shingles. Has similar shape in tree as a, like a pin oak. Very, very nice tree, easy to grow, very formal looking. Here's the Kansas tree of the year for 2009 from K-State Research and Extension. It's called chinkapin oak or yellow chestnut oak, native to southeast Kansas in the Flint Hills, kind of some of those chalky sites. Kind of a medium-sized tree, up around 35, 40 feet. A tree for western Kansas that'll grow all the way through western Kansas and eastern too is English oak. Of course, it's not native here, but grows quite well. Our state champion is out at Kinsley, Kansas, and so that's our state champion, grows quite well. Nice, formal, huge tree. And then another one statewide will do well, very well for us, bur oak. This is one that when you plant it, not only do you enjoy it, but the generations after you, even your grandchildren, will enjoy this tree. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website.